Okay. Guys, it's so hot in here. I might die recording this. For some reason, I'm nervous. Like every time I record a YouTube video, I get so nervous. I don't know why. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So before I start with the actual video, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you for a million subscribers. What the hell? That's so insane to me. The fact that a million persons clicked on the subscribe button at some point and thought that my content wasn't like bad enough to keep watching and to subscribe. It's so insane to me. Coming from like a super small town from Spain, I never thought that the things that I will do will get to that many people. So thank you, especially because of the support that you guys give me every day. That matters so much more to me than the numbers, you know? So thank you for that. Thank you for taking your time to send me messages every day to be interested in the things that I do. I know I'm not the best content creator ever and I know that I should be more active and post more videos, but you know, I'm just trying to figure it out myself and the things that I like, the things that I don't. So yeah, I hope you guys understand that. And again, thank you so much. I love you. Aww. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite things this month, both music, series, movies, clothes. I find this type of video super interesting and I love watching them. So uh, that's why I decided to do one. Uh, I hope you find it inter- I hope you- f I'm so nervous. I don't even know how to speak. Yeah, I- f <laughs> I hope you find it entertaining as well and let's get started. So since in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite things this month. It's the perfect occasion for me to talk about Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in like business, design, photography, literally everything you can imagine. There's a premium membership where you can get access to high quality lessons and must know topics so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities and do the work you love. Currently, I am taking photography classes and let me tell you, I'm learning a lot of new things that I didn't know and I'm having so much fun at the same time, which I think it's so important. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. I think that's pretty good. And since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 500 people to click the promo link in the description will get their first two months for free to try it out. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, thank you Skillshare, you guys are amazing and you're doing an amazing job. So yeah, let's let's continue with the video. So I'm gonna start showing you my favorite clothes this month. The first thing that I want to show you is this shirt with white and dark blue stripes. I know it looks like black, but it's dark blue. It looks super simple, but I swear if you wear it unbuttoned, like showing a little bit of chest, you know, being a little bit rebel or whatever. What am I doing? Then you use like a couple of necklaces. So I use these two necklaces. They are from Top Men and I love them because they have a different distance so they don't look messy because they're not together. If you tuck the shirt in your pants and then you wear a belt, it looks so classy. Definitely I'm gonna get more shirts like this one. So moving on with these blue jeans. Um, from Urban Outfitters. So I decided to get them because I always use the same black skinny jeans and I was so tired, you know? So I decided to buy them. I think they look really good, especially if you wear them with like an oversized t-shirt and then you tucked it in. I don't know if, if you say that, if that's a proper way to say it, but anyways, yeah. You tucked it in, you wear a belt. I'm so annoying, I will say the same thing. Anyways, yeah, you do that and then maybe you wear some Converse and it looks really good. It gives like a 90s vibe, which I love. Definitely, I'm gonna be wearing them so often and I'm gonna stop being annoying and wearing the same black skinny jeans. This t-shirt, it's also one of my favorite things this month. If you follow me on my social media, you probably know that I am obsessed with Gilmore Girls. It's one of my favorite shows right now. So when I went to LA a few weeks ago, I went to Urban Outfitters and I found this t-shirt and you know what? I needed to buy it. Like there was no other option, so I did it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I explain myself so good. I'm so impressed. This video is a mess. Yeah. My next favorite. My next. 
My next favorite are these Adidas shoes. It happens to me the same thing that with the jeans. Like I always wear black and white shoes. So I decided to buy these ones with this super intense red, which is one of my favorite colors right now. It's so different than what I usually wear. I feel so cute when I wear them. It's kind of hard to combine with my clothes sometimes, but I'm caring less and less about that and I'm just trying to have fun and combine it with whatever I want, you know? At the end of the day, the most important thing is that you have fun with clothes. I love them so much. Now, let's talk about my favorite music this month. This month, I've been listening to a lot of different type of music, a lot of different genres. Do you pronounce it like that? Like genres? Okay, let me search it. Genre. Genre. What? Genre. Genre. I'm not gonna say that word. I decided to open my mind more to new sounds. Just stop listening to the same stuff all over again. I've been listening to Spanish music, which I used to not like at all, like a couple years ago, even one year ago. I've been listening to old music, like 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s music, pop music as well, rock music, alternative, and holy like I discovered a lot of cool artists and music and I'm so sad that I didn't do it before but you know, it's never too late Lately I've been super obsessed with Kali Uchis Her new album, Isolation, it's insanely good it Gives me such good vibes and it puts me like in the best mood, you know I feel so relaxed and carefree every time I listen to her Also she has a really unique sound Like when you hear it, you know it's Kali Uchis Also I love how she makes English with the Spanish, like she do it in such a classy and elegant way and I love that. My favorite songs from the album are Death to Me, Your Teeth in My Neck and Miami probably, but I love all of them so. Another one of my favorite artists this month is Rex Orange County. I thought it was a band, but it's actually just a singer. I saw him live at this festival called Primavera Sound in Barcelona. I've few weeks ago and it was so amazing he's so amazing life he even sang with his girlfriend they were so cute i felt so lonely but that's another thing uh, but yeah he's so amazing i love his music it's so honest and real and the lyrics are amazing some of my favorite songs are best friend apricot princess and sunflower i've been also obsessed with rosalia this month she's an spanish singer she's so amazing oh my god it's such a like fresh sound like she makes flamenco which is a style i don't know how to say it in english but she makes that style with like new sounds. It's so good, it's so fresh. I've never heard something like that in my life. For some reason, I love the combination, the meaning of the songs. It's so deep and have a powerful and strong message. So I also love that. The production is brilliant. Her voice is like so amazing. So yeah, guys, I recommend you to listen to Rosalia. Even if you don't speak Spanish, like it doesn't matter. The songs that I've been listening on repeat by her are Dillo and Malamente. Those songs are bops and I'm playing them all day. I'm so annoying. My friends literally hate me, but it's so good, so. Also, two songs I had on repeat this month are A Teenager in Love by Dion and the Belmonts. The song is from the 60s, I think. It's such a good song. I might do a cover of it. I don't know. I'm so obsessed with that song. I'm playing it all day. And also, another of my favorite songs this month. It's Seven Wonders by Fleetwood Mac. This song puts me in the weirdest mood for some reason. You know in the movies when something bad is gonna happen, like a zombie apocalypse or something like that? You know, there's a moment where everything's so quiet. Uh, but you know something's coming, you know, someone's gonna kill you. That's what I feel when I listen to this song. <laughs> I don't know why, like, I know it's so weird to say that, but I kind of love it. What am I even saying? I heard this on American Horror Story uh, on the witch season. What was the name? I don't remember the name, but yeah, you know, the season. And I thought this song was amazing, but I've never heard it before. And then I found it on Spotify and I'm obsessed. And Fleetwood Mac is also incredible, so. Listen to this song, but listen also to more songs by them because they're incredible. Next thing is movies and series. This month I haven't watched a lot of movies, but there's one that I watched. This movie called uh, The Room. The movie it's about a girl who is kidnapped and she has a baby in like that tiny room where she's kidnapped. So she tries her best to take care of her child and make sure that even though they live in like a super tiny room she makes sure that he can imagine a fun world i guess she can invent things that 
are not in the room so you don't have to feel trapped when you finish watching the movie you see the world in like a different perspective i was so grateful that i can you know go outside whenever i want and take a walk and breathe some fresh air so definitely i recommend you guys watching the movie as for series as i told you i am <laughs> obsessed with Gilmore Girls. I really love them so much. I want to be part of the Gilmore family, to be honest, and live in a star hollow. Ah, it's so good. So the plot of this show isn't crazy at all. It's just basically the life of a mom and her daughter, but they are so funny and they are so dramatic, <laughs> but it's so fun. It's so fun to watch. Like I feel so relaxed and I forget about everything when I watch this show. I love it so much. That's why I bought the t-shirt and everything. So I just realized that my camera died and I was talking to myself. I need to repeat everything I said. Okay. I think I was talking about another series that I am obsessed this month. It is called La Casa de Papel. So it is a Spanish show. I don't know how to say it. Like what's the title in English? Like let me try to find it. Okay, it's called Money Haste. It is so amazing. I'm so proud that it's a Spanish show, to be honest. Like, it is so good. It is about a group of random people who have, like, trouble in their lives. At that moment, they are up. So they get together and they plan a huge robbery. It is not like the typical, you know, robbery. It is so well planned. It is so clever. They take literally days doing it, doing the robbery. The planification, is, is that a word? Is that even a word? Okay, so yeah. The planification. Is that even a fucking word? Okay, wait. Okay, I literally invented that word. The planning. Okay, the planning of the robbery takes literally five years. I don't know, I don't wanna do a spoiler to you guys. The characters are also amazing. They have really strong personalities and they are so different between them, but it's so cool, the contrast. My favorite characters are obviously Tokyo and the professor, he's so intelligent. Like, I actually want his brain. And currently, I am watching this series called Dark. I haven't finished the, the series yet, but I've been loving it. I've been loving the photography. I've been loving the vibe. It is about how past and present are connected. So in this town, there are like tunnels who connects that. I love that type of stories and there's a lot of mystery. I haven't finished it yet, so I cannot tell you if the end it's good. So the last thing that I want to show you, it's a moisturizer. <laughs> so you guys ask me about my skincare routine uh, literally every day. I don't have a skincare routine, to be honest. I try to drink water. That's what everyone says, but I don't do it. Like I should drink more water, but I don't really do it, but I try it. And I don't know, I try to wash my face with water every morning and every night and moisturize it. So there's this moisturizer that I recently bought on Lush. It's called Celestial. Celestial? Celestial. So it is like this. It makes my skin glow so freaking much. And I use it every morning. And also it helps with my redness. I mean, I don't know if I should recommend you guys this because I know it depends on the type of your skin. Like maybe this works for me, but it doesn't work for you. So definitely if you want to buy it, uh, make sure you ask if it works for your skin type. If it does, you're gonna love it. I'm buying this for the rest of my life for sure. Shout out to Lush for making this amazing product. So that's everything that I wanted to show you. I realized that I am much more comfortable in front of the camera now that I've been talking for a while. So that's good. I guess another reason why I don't do a lot of YouTube videos is because I get so insecure before recording it. And I don't do it because I'm like, okay, I'm probably gonna sound so stupid or people are gonna think I'm dumb. Also, as you can tell, I'm still learning English, it's not my first language, if you're gonna judge that, um, just let you know that it's not my first language and I'm still learning and it's hard. <laughs> That's another reason why I think I don't do more videos, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this was entertaining, <laughs> I hope you like this type of videos, I really do, so what else do I have to say? You have the link of my other social media in the description down below if you want to follow me there. Subscribe if you want, turn on the notifications. I'm saying this because that's what every YouTuber says, so I'm doing it too. 
even though I post once a month, but do it if you want. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I see you soon and I love you. Bye.